Soralin is another example of such compounds which have two reactive sites and can simultaneously form monoducts as well as cross links in the DNA molecule. Soralin is a naturally occurring substance that can alkylate DNA if it is photoactivated in the cell. The planar soralin molecule, soralin molecule is a planar molecule. It, it exists in a single plan, which consists of a, a furan ring fused to a heterobicyclic ring system called cumarin. It intercalates into the DNA molecule. So uh, it is a planar molecule and it consists of one furan ring and two more rings which are called cumarin and uh, this these three rings they intercalate into the dna molecule so here is the structure of uh, this uh, soralin and you can see this is uh, uh, a furan ring furan ring uh, contain five uh, corners or it is a five membered ring and this portion is Cumarin. So it is a planar molecule and it can intercalate in the DNA. Upon exposure to light with a wavelength of 400 to 450 nanometer, the furan ring in the soralin becomes activated and adds across the carbon number 5 and carbon number 6 double bond in a pyrimidine base to form a 4 prime and 5 prime monoadduct. So uh, when uh, this uh, uh, molecule soralin is photoactivated, its furan ring is activated and this furan ring is added in the uh, pyrimidine base where uh, between the carbon number 5 and carbon number 6 double bond because in a pyrimidine there is double bond present between uh, atom number 5 and 6, carbon number 5 and 6. So here this furan is added. So in this way it forms a monoadduct. So here you can see uh, the formation of this monoadduct. So this is a uh, pyrimidine and uh, uh, here you can see a double bond was present between the carbon 5 and 6 and this is uh, soralin. So this uh, furan ring of soralin, it forms the monoadduct with this pyrimidine. So here in this, uh, uh, you can see two uh, DNA strands and in between these two strands here, it forms linkage with the pyrimidine base and here it intercalates in the DNA. So in this way, it damages the DNA. The planar tricyclic soralin derivative in the monoducts because you know this is a planar molecule and it has been attached to one of the pyrimidine in the DNA in the form of monoadduct. This is in the position, this uh, planar molecule is in the position to combine with another pyrimidine base either on the same strand or on the opposite strand. Most probably it will uh, 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 link with the opposite strand. But to do so, it must be activated because one uh, furan group has been activated but the second group is not activated. So it must be activated by light with the wavelength of 320 to 400 nanometer. So if it is exposed if this DNA containing this monoadduct is exposed to a light of 320 to 400 nanometer, the second group of the soralin is also activated. The resulting photo product contain a cross link between pyrimidine bases on the opposite strands of the DNA duplex. So uh, uh, this cross link uh, will be formed between two strands. So here you can see uh, this cross link. So this is uh, one thymine molecule, this is another thymine molecule and this is in between uh, this one. This is soralin. So it uh, forms a cross link between two thymines. Here in case of DNA molecule, here it has formed first link which is the formation 
by uh, furan ring and here it has formed the second link so this is a cross link between two strands so in this way uh, inter strand cross link is formed by soralin so if this uh, 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 this inter cross uh, link is not properly repaired soralin damage causes mutations which are lethal to the cells